Hi, I'm Stephanie and this is my home, the 16th century Chateau de la Lande. La Lande was owned for hundreds of years by a family of marquises who were at the heart of French royal life. One of them even had the honour of being sent by King Louis XV to greet Marie Antoinette on her arrival in France. But, far from being a stuffy museum, this chateau is a living home. I live here all the time and I'm regularly joined by my mother, my family, my friends and wonderful volunteers from all over the world who help me to lovingly restore this historic home. Welcome to La Lande, a chateau filled with life, love and laughter. Good morning all. It is a beautiful day at La Lande and I've got a super busy day ahead because Jerry and I are going to be filming with British TV today. I'm also filming lots of behind the scenes things so that I can show everybody, wherever you are around the world, what we're filming when it comes out on British TV. But I have to say, I'm off to a bit of a worrying start because I've checked on Herbert and I don't think he's well at all. The hedgehog, that is, for those of you who didn't see the last episode. We have a baby hedgehog. I don't want to actually take him out of the box because I don't want to stress him. We managed to give him a tiny bit of honey. He won't touch the cat food. He's had water and a minuscule amount of honey and that's it. And look, you see that wrapped in plastic just there? That's Philip's pocket watch. And it's working. Herbert's always right next to the ticking of the pocket watch. Keeping the room at 27 degrees, so he's definitely gonna be warm enough. Now I'm gonna run downstairs and I'm so excited because Jerry will be here. Hello, hello, hello. No, all of the time. Yes, my baby. Yay, and hello, David. Hi. Hi. Gerald, it's so good that you're in the house. <laughs> yeah, I hope you don't mind, you know. I've just like a squat I've turned up. <laughs> And David, thanks for those fireworks last oh, night. My pleasure. Oh, it was incredible. Yeah, it was really fun. David and Summer have really sweetly offered to take Philip to the station. He's off for his rehearsals. Bye, Philip. Have fun. Good luck with the rehearsals. Thank you. See you soon. Oh. Bye. 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 Good morning, Ian. Jerry. Good to see you. Hey. Hey. <laughs> you. I didn't know you were coming. Did you know? Can I ask a favour of you? You can ask. I have no transport. Right. And I need two pigs trotters. Two pigs trotters. So it's the normal sort of favour that you get <laughs> asked all the time, actually. It's nothing out of, out of uh, the normal <laughs> Yes, um, I have bad owners. Uh, about four by two. Well, as well. Like no, no, no. I just need two pigs trotters. Cold and spice. <laughs> No, just normal. But of course she doesn't need a new. That would be ludicrous. Oh, I suppose so. Yes. When okay. You, when you drive through Cravant. Yes. When I go driving, well, if somebody takes me, I pass it. The bloody thing's always shut. Right, There's always there lunch time. Have a quick look online. See if they're open and I'm on you up there. How's that? Oh, do you mind? No, I don't mind at all. Would I mean, you? I yes. know what you want them for, so I'm yes. very excited. Josie's going to make a hand-raised pork pie. Yes, yeah, no, you are open. Because I, oh, I okay. was there yesterday right. with Andrew, but they were shut. Oh. Oh. But they are open until 12.30 this okay. morning. Okay, well, I'm just going to go wash my paws. Yeah. It's slightly larger than hands. Because it's not very far away, is it? It's not very far. No, 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 no. <laughs> I was telling Andrew when we first moved into Southport, from Glasgow, nobody could understand anything I said. And do you remember Ken Dickinson and Peter Hennigan? Well, no, they, they worked. I was nothing. three. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I can think of you. Have good memory. And I says, we did the work. I says, let's go for a beer, because I had seen this pub in Mount Pleasant. And I says, right, the drinks are on me. I says, Peter, what do you want? He says, a pint of golden. And I says, Ken. He says, I paint a bitter. So I went to the bar and the barmaid came. She says, yes. I says, you've got a paint a lag and a coat, paint a gold and a paint a bitter. She says, I beg your pardon. I says, I paint a lag and a paint a gold and a paint a bitter. She says, we've got ham and cheese, but we've got a paint a bitter. <laughs> I says, what? <laughs> she says, we don't have peanut butter. I says, who goes into a pub and has peanut butter? <laughs> and I thought, if I don't get served in a pub... That's, that's it, that. you've got to go straight back to Glasgow. Well, I'm heading back home. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going that's where people boy. can speak English. <laughs> <laughs> 
So yeah, Southport's got great memories. Oh. This is exciting. We have a wall. Whoa. Wow. It's got to be a big place, isn't it? Hi, Peter. Hi, how are you? Really good. How are you? I'm not too bad. Taking <laughs> oh. holes for you. This is really exciting. Hello, Peter. How are you? Right. It's not a bad size bathroom. The thick walls, aren't they? Just a little bit. Together, it is coming together suddenly. Yeah. yeah, it is. I mean, I don't think Natty will be in next week, but but yeah. nevertheless, I can see it that. moving forward. <laughs> yeah, we know. Well, I better start thinking about decoration. I think now the walls are going up. Wow. Yes. I love your name, Stephanie. Oh, that's exciting. Yes. Okay, right, see you later. Right, good luck. Thank you. It's the extractor fan, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Bonjour. Team set up a workshop. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Well done. You just cut a piece of wood and I'm excited. That was the first bit I've seen done in this workshop. You're going to enjoy when these machines go. Watch carefully. Yeah. Oh, my favourite one, the three headed tenner. Yeah. Set up. Oh, my goodness. And you have. You have electricity, things are working. Oh, you're building a workbench? Yeah. How yeah. big's it going to be? Stephanie. 2.5 by 2.5. Look at the oh, difference yeah, in, look at the difference in tool. This is our tool. <laughs> yeah, that's the Lalonde tools up until this, this is moment. This technical area here. <laughs> we have the most up-to-date 19th century tool. <laughs> and, and then, then suddenly, boom. <laughs> 21st century. <laughs> The boxes, really. Yeah. Wow. Although some, oh, some, some of the machines could have grown. I just love the fact that I'm going to have to put a health and safety uh, sign outside. Well, only steel, steel cat toes. Slippers. <laughs> I don't know, Josie. <laughs> <laughs> I He's think we're very chic. I feel that we've upped the chicness levels in the <laughs> workshop. Yeah, it, it's needed. It's needed. <laughs> Would you have expected anything less, though? <laughs> No. Give it, give it. I bet it's going to be laid out magnificently. Yeah, I'm fast. sure it will be. We have to do it in discipline. Two hours. Two hours. Okay, well, we've well, got to we leave you. I am going to go and get dressed for filming. But first, Ian came up with the idea of giving a little bit of gravy, got some of Josie's lovely gravy from last night, to Herbert. He's sleeping really peacefully, and I don't have the heart to wake him. Oh, I see you're ready for action, Gerald. Me? I'm always Pencils. ready. Pencils behind the ear, that's a sign. I was born ready. <sighs> Come on, we can do this. As you can see, I'm not quite ready either. The whole hair thing. No, that looks good. No, that looks very interesting. Yeah, interesting's not what I was going for, though. Where were you going for? Just just sort of normal hair, actually. I don't fancy trying to feed the hedgehog some gravy whilst I can. Of course I do. Him. I can't get him to eat. And I didn't want to wake him up earlier. He was pe sleeping so peacefully. And they call me Dr. Doolittle. I don't know why. I didn't want to wake him up, but now I'm actually really very concerned. And I think that he just always hangs out down there next to the ticking of the, the little clock there. Right. Okay, I'll bring him out and then we can also, oh yeah, his hot water bottle's going cold. So I'll put the kettle on and we can refill the hot water bottle too. Okay. Come on, darling Herbert. Oh, I know you want to sleep, oh dear. Come on, sweetheart. Let's try a little bit of delicious gravy for us. Just a touch. Mmm, really this is good. Anything. This is yummy, yummy, yummy. He's so young, but apparently you can't give, it, give him uh, milk. What did it say? Did you read up? Yeah, well, it said basically either raw meat, which I don't think he'll touch, or cat food, which he's got, which he hasn't touched, honey, which we tried, and the best we could do was putting a little bit on his mouth and then he'd try and lick it off. So he got a tiny bit in that way. I can't. Come on, darling. I'm extremely worried about him. Yeah. I, I don't think he's got good chances at all. No. Gerald and I have just been trying and actually we've managed to get him to have a little bit of honey and a little bit of gravy. Very, very, very little. Yeah. But he's had some, but he seems, A, really annoyed with us, which I think is a good sign because he wasn't strong enough to be annoyed with yeah, us yeah. earlier. And B, don't adjust your screens. This is not Philip. <laughs> it's a man though, with a hedgehog. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he's so much stronger than earlier. Yeah. I don't know why, but I'm really happy. Let's put him back. Yep. Um, do you want actually, to hold, hold him? In? Yeah, I'm nearly done with the hot water bottle. But I put half cold water and half hot water so it doesn't get too hot. Good idea. 
Right, we are off. That's all I'm gonna show you in terms of a little hint, but you'll see the rest of the reveal quite soon. It'll definitely be this year. It will all be on the vlog. Just have to wait a tiny bit longer. But before we start filming, I have to get Amory because he is involved in this as well. Cousin? Yeah? Uh, we're ready for you. said that I had to come around the other side, not that you were going around. I'll go around. You How is it going in here? Oh, your workbench. Benches. Whoa, you've done amazingly. And that's been in what? Two hours? Yeah. That was quick. Well, I've got another one to build. Okay. Yeah, but uh, no, no, so. Uh... You're getting really set up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Superb. So what's, what's now? What's now? What? Now we're filming. We're filming. Okay, so yeah. basically levels. Laser, pencils. Whatever you need. I don't, don't so ask draw, me what you need. Yeah. So you can draw on the wall. Yeah, Basically. definitely. And in case any of you are wondering, this has nothing to do with the Grand Salon. That will all be filmed in real time as it is happening. Uh, this is a little extra project that we're doing. What happened? Three, Three yeah. euros, 35. You got them? That's a you've, a rep. You've, a, you've a ripped off. <laughs> yeah. Project hand raised pork pie is go. Hand raised pot pie is go. Yes. Well, I'm just sorry the vegans aren't here to see the pot just go in the pan. <laughs> you should have kept that. No, You're a wicked woman, I just. know. <laughs> you see this good size. Oh, shall I come and have a look oh, at a pig's trotter? Come oh, on yes, then, go on. Your life, Stephanie, will never be complete without a vlog or a pig's trotter. Hey, what up? Delicious. He even, even took <laughs> the socks off. Three for three <laughs> euros thirty-five. Three. My God, it's the only cheap thing in France, let me tell you. Yeah. Well, houses as well, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Chateaus and pig's trotters. Yeah. <laughs> so you're going to make a soup? No. no. I'm going to make... Um, Pork pie. Pork pie. It's the filling, the jelly for a, a hand raised pork. I've never seen that before. You've never seen a pork pie before? <laughs> I've never seen a pig's foot before. It's the jelly in the pork pie. Jerry's looking kind of scared about every pork pie he's ever eaten right now. <laughs> I think that means he's not going to get it. Oh, I don't think <laughs> I do, I do. I'm first in the line for the pot. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, right, I'm going to get this some work. All right, see you all later. Did you, did you like the upstairs, by the way? The pink is good, isn't it? Pink's looking great. Thanks. Bye. Okay, see you later. We've finished filming for the day and I've filmed lots and lots to show you in a few weeks. I still have to edit tonight's video, but first I'm going to check on Herbert. He's buried right into the corner. I think that's because... I know his hot water bottle's still warm, luckily. I'll make him a new one in a sec. I'll leave him sleeping. Oh my goodness. I never thought I'd be happy about this, but I'm really happy. One, he's drunk all his water. Two, he's pooed in the water bowl. He hadn't pooed at all because he wasn't eating. So maybe he ate a tiny little bit. That doesn't look that unhealthy either. What has happened to my life? Why am I analyzing hedgehog poo? That was a fabulous day and it's time for bed. But first, of course, little Herbert must be fed. I don't know if he ate much of the last lot of cat food. I put a bit less in this time so that I can actually tell whether he eats it or not. He won't eat, but he's fighting me a lot more than yesterday, which I actually think is an amazingly good sign. He's so much stronger than yesterday. So maybe he did eat a little bit in the night, hence the poo, hey? Hence the poo, Herbert. Well, I don't want to bother him. I'll put the food in there in the hope that he has some. I've given him a tiny bit of honey. Again, it's all I can manage. I don't want to distress him. He's on a right adventure. He couldn't do this yesterday. He just did not have that strength. Oh, he's, he, that's it. He's off. I've just got up first thing in the morning to check on Herbert and he's very weak and I just don't think he's eating. So he has to go to a vet. We'd asked Kirsty on day one and she says that the local vets just won't treat them. She's tried before, but um, I'm going to contact and see if there's anything she, she can do. She thinks maybe over by Limoges. I just think he's far too weak and I'm trying with the honey and the water and the gravy. The cat food's in with him, but I think he's too young. Wow, looking after Herbert is making me see sights that I do not usually see. So that's the sunrise. I'm not a morning person, but I have to keep checking his hot water bottle. I feel totally, totally helpless. 
I've called in the troops. Kirsty and Dan are here because I just don't think he'll survive any longer if he does not see a vet. Yeah, and he's, he's a little bit sleepy, but at yeah. least he's warm. I'll, um, I'll take him in straight away. Thank you so much. Can I just hot water bottles? Of course you gym. can. Yeah, I did it about two hours ago. It should still be okay. Thanks. But let me know if you want me to re refill it. Yeah, that's, um, I think it should be warm enough. I weighed him. He's yeah. under 100 grams. Oh, gosh. I mean, he, there's no way he can survive if he's not eating. No, no, not at all. He's, he's also not curling into a ball. No, and he hasn't ever, actually. He's not managed yes. that at all. Oh, bye-bye. <laughs> oh. meet you, Herbert. <laughs> bye, <laughs> Herbert. We're all going to miss you very much. Look, he's going in a little ball. He's got his hot water bottle with him. Oh, so heartbroken. <laughs> <laughs> Say goodbye, Herbert. Oh, well, you're all laughing now. Herbert. I didn't sleep last Herbert. night. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's too much. Take him, Kirsty. <laughs> Do you see yeah, why you? I was worried about him in this house? They don't take me seriously, Kirsty. You're the only one who understands. It is a, <laughs> I don't know. It is a God's yeah. creature. Yeah. I do understand. Yeah. We will yeah, do it's our best to keep him safe, but yeah. I think it's the best, it's the best option now. Yeah, yeah definitely. definitely. I was counting the individual pieces of cat food. Yeah, yeah. And they were sort of shriveling up and drying, but stop laughing at me <laughs> Hedgehog gets trapped better than I do. Yeah. You know, I need to count your food. Do you want some cat food, Dan? Because there's a little bit left in the fridge. He wants to be down the hedgehog now. <laughs> I want to live in Philip's pocket. <laughs> Ready for another day of filming. I just have to go and get my cousin. I, I came in here yesterday. Big changes. Big changes. Really yes. big changes. Yes, yes. All coming along. Ceiling going up in here now. Yeah. So that's first board up in there. So that's good. No, I'm delighted, absolutely delighted. Oh yes, I didn't see that board yesterday. Oh, that that's a whole new thing. I really need to get the things for this room, don't I? We then need to put the flooring down. We need to decide what we're Need to choose floor. the floor. Tiles for the bathroom. And I think a uh, wood floor, yeah, yeah, wooden floor there, and then we've already got the we've got tiles in here. terracotta tiles for here. Yes. It's going to be lovely. Yeah. Okay, I better run because, as you can okay. see, I'm not dressed yet, no. and I need to film. Okay. <laughs> I've got to get my cousin. Oh, things have changed in here. Whoa, Amory. Oh, honestly, what you have done in one day, you'll have the entire place renovated if this continues. Wow. We've got a good little central island, so it makes life a lot easier to glue. Or... Yeah. yeah. I love it. I love it too. Yeah, you must be happy seeing it come together. Yeah, it's nice because it's just, uh, you know, now we can really crack on. Are you going to have enough space? Because you had such a huge workshop in England. It's ample. It's yeah? Fine. Yeah, yeah. It's all good. All right. Can you just count to five for me, please? One, one, two, three, four, five. Great, lovely. Okay, so... Sorry, I'm <laughs> just getting, you know, Amory's first moments as a TV star. <laughs> and then two minutes later, the fall. <laughs> We've had a great day's filming, so now I'm going to go and see how everyone else is getting on. Hello, hello. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Trouble. <laughs> hello. How is it going? Oh, the grouting started. Yeah. Oh, that looks lovely. Really nice. Yeah. It makes such a difference. Oh, it does. Yeah, it really brightens it. Mm. Um, I came to look at your paint samples, Ian. Ah. This company's called French Chic. French Chic. And you're selling them in your shop? Yes. Okay. Yes. My colour chart is in my diary, and my diary's on my desk in my office. Oh, no, don't worry, we can look at that another time. Yes, but yes. this, I remember, was the one this was we the saw one. that would be the best match. Mm -hmm. Maybe we could was. try it sort of here. Yes. And a bit next to it. Because I thought I might go for a darker one inside the inside cupboards. The yeah, That's just to make idea. it a bit yeah. more interesting. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring the light. I don't know why it's at the, my diary home. I can do something oh, else. don't worry. Over here somewhere? Yeah, great. It's down there. That's perfect. I mean, it's absolutely perfect. That is the one. Yeah. It's a little bit more peach um, than this one. 
and I think it goes very, very nicely. Here. Yeah. It's always going to every every bit of light is going to change, isn't it? Yeah, That's going to yeah, be tiles there anyway. It. But it doesn't clash. No, not at all. It's like a lighter version of the same mm. thing. Yeah, I, I think, think it's excellent. Anyway. Okay, let's go for that. What's it called? That one. It's oh, called God. Sweet Cheeks. Of course it is. Yeah. <laughs> we Actually, need sweet cheeks in the it's, it's, shower room. <laughs> Exactly. In the shade, it's mm. the same as it's the tiles, and in the light, it's uh, much Maybe, paler. Maybe the second coat that might change for mm. your eyes. They're actually not going to be much of it showing. It's mainly in the area that you are yes. that will have it, um, and then a darker one inside, inside. those pockets. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll. Okay, uh, this is this is all wallpaper. Yes. Yes. It's all paper. Yeah. So white. it's just that area, and then I think white white, white ceiling. Yeah. What happened in the end? Right, well, I got them to the vets. They, yes. um, initially, they were just going to give me uh, sort of baby kitten milk and yes. um, like a, a small tin of, um, of cat oh. food. Sort of oh, okay. Food. Yes. Um, well, cat food I tried and he's not interested, no, but I think he needs the yeah. milk. So they're going to rehydrate him. They're going to yes. treat him for the parasites because he's got some ticks and a few fleas. Yes. Um, he's only about five weeks old, they think. <gasps> so he really should still be with his mum, ideally. Yes. Um, but chances are... Mum's probably taken him out on a feeding foray, and he's she just, just left him behind. Just got left behind because he's he's weak. So yeah, we've done all we can now, and yes, in their hands. And they said they um, they're going to release him in their garden. They've got a massive garden at the back. Okay. So when he's back on his feet, um, so maybe we can get an update from them. See I really if he hope makes so. it. It'd be nice Good. To find out what's uh, what he's doing. Yeah. Yeah, I hope so. Thanks so much <laughs> for taking fine, him. No I found Sif. I think she's lost two of the chicks you can hear them but she can't see them i don't know where they were you see they're on the other side so if you need to go to the other side okay i'm gonna go and i'm gonna go to the other side honestly gosh it's been a stressful day with the animals she found them it's so windy today i'm sure you can hear on the phone it's incredibly windy and i think they got blown off course poor things but the family is reunited Look at them. Oh, they're so cute. Look, they're getting tiny little crests on the top of their heads. They're like tiny Mohicans. Gosh, it's an exciting day. We've come yeah. into the greenhouse because I can actually hear you. It's so windy outside. It's really windy. Yeah. Yeah. So, Jerry, you had a message yeah. from Mummy. So, yeah. first day I had the distant drums from Africa <laughs> this morning. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. And, you know, as usual, she gives me a wish list. Mm -hmm. And the wish list today was, if you see Kirsty, could you ask her about, no, don't ask me what this means. Onions, yeah. leeks, garlic. All in, all um, right, yeah. And I don't know, it's coming up to Halloween. I don't know if it's any day with Dracula or whatever. <laughs> I've done a full bed of onions from seed. So they're, they're only very tiny at the moment. So I'd like to do another bed of um, from seeds. Lovely, absolutely. Um, maybe some yellow Dutch onions, the quite potent ones. I like all onions. All onions. Seriously, go crazy on onions. Yeah. They always get eaten. <laughs> we have a full bed of elephant garlic. Um, nice. Because I'm sorting out my garden mm. ready to... Well, future plans, but sorting it all out. I have nowhere to grow my garlic for this coming season, so you've got them. Ooh, oh. <laughs> yeah. And now, elephant garlic, they grow huge and they have an allium, purple allium type head Amazing. on them. They are, they're beautiful to look at. Yeah. And the garlic bulbs are massive as well. Fantastic. Just the same as ordinary garlic. Yeah. Really nice. Um, and what else? I've got some leeks, but I'll probably do another another batch of leeks before it's too late as well. Right. I love the sound of the rain. Is that rain? Yeah, I love the sound of it on, on these roofs. So nice. Blowing a out there, I just yeah? want to stay in here and have a cup of tea, but Jerry and I have got to go and film. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll have the Nice in here. <laughs> <laughs> I will send you out in the rain. Okay, Thanks, lovely. Jerry. Thank you so much. It was a lovely welcome. visit. Goodbye. <laughs> Thank you so much for having us. <laughs> oh, it's quite miserable out now. Okay. Oh, oh, oh sorry, 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 Gerald. Oh, I think we need to trot. Okay. Oh. Let's trot in and get a cup of tea. Have you gone to tea? Oh, yeah, I think so, tea. don't you? Tea, 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 trot tea, this tea. way. I've run in for shelter and I found Josie has just made her incredible pie. This is amazing. This is your pot pie. It's beautiful. Yeah. So what happens tomorrow? <laughs> And well, I've made the jelly from yes. the pig's feet. Yes. I'll put it through a microwave so that it runs. Mm -hmm. um, put some mace into it or nutmeg. Oh, nice. Because I forgot I forgot to put it in the filling. 
and then, and you pour, then it in. pour it in those four holes and then it sets and then it sets and that should make a very nice pie for supper tomorrow night oh i'm looking forward to tomorrow i cannot wait honestly can't wait i hope you're gonna enjoy it oh i will i shall give you the recipe thank you it. you're very welcome it was my grandmother's recipe oh. I feel very honoured. Eh? I feel no, very honoured. You, no, you, you're welcome to it. It's a pleasure. Oh, I needed this cup of tea. It's been one heck of a day. We had a great day's filming. Herbert is safe with the vet. There is a delicious pork pie for tomorrow. And I have just got time to upload this video to you all before running down for dinner. Because apparently tonight, Josie has made mince and tatties for Gerald with some added dumplings for me. A huge thank you to all of our patrons who make this vlog possible and the Dauphins and Dauphines of La Lande. Yadeland, Ether, Alice, Alan, Dan, Banda, Wailing, Banshee, Brandon and John Michael, Cecilia Begum, Denise Behrens, Snell Banakovich, Jill Bidwell, Candice Blackburn, Candice Ned Borkowski, Clara Butcher, Paulina Calabro, Chloe Chalacani, Lindsay C. Chelton, Matthew Chupp, Stephen Sarah Cole, Linda Sue Concepcion, Erin Conklin, Jimmy Conley, Zoe Dork, Sylvia Dem, Jim Demersman and Richard Patternord, Sakura Dennis, Zane Dixon, Jason Dubby, Jackie Ellison, Nicholas W. Fairfax, Tracy Ferrari, Caroline Furst, to Kevin Fossum, Abigail Grant, Fifi Greenberg, Crystal Hardy, Brenda Harris, Delane Holbrook, Kim Hasselhoff, David and Tong Henderson, Camilla Herrera, Jacqueline Holmes and Ken Bates, Priscilla Hubler, Sandra Hawley, Melissa Jansen, Brian Kelsey and Phil Burnt, Jimmy Kemp, Nadia Kennedy, Lisa LaForge, Dave and Summer Lalan, Morgan Lawley, Angel Leonard, Victoria Lapine, Janet Hoff Lombard, Marina, Frank Martin, Grant and Erin McLoon, Meredith, Robert Miller, Joanne Morton, Karen Nicholson, Kathy Norrie, Maureen Palmer, Ellen Person, Wendy Piatek, Frank Poposki and James Snow, Tamara Price, Armin Rahman, Tonya Renee, RJB, Bettina Rojek, Hanny Ross, Mary Ryan, Elizabeth Scanlon, Sven Schreiber, Lisa Schultz, Jennifer Shanks, Rebecca Shorrock, Carl and Laurie Siebert, Teresa Sloan, Annette Solverson, Patty Suhu, Susan Stevens, Monty Stapora, Sabrina, Sorette, and The Leaf House, Sarah Thornton, Colleen Troyer, Renee Valelli, Victoria, Jessica Walker, Brandy Walton, Laura Watkins, Lucas Wallen, Cheryl Whitaker, Linda Reist, Christine Wilson, Winnie de la Cockapoo, Greg Wood, David Young, and Lodovico Zordonazzo.